Hi guys, how's it going? Hey, how are you all doing? You're looking forward to this, the Wednesday shift. Okay, another edit, another edit. Uh, my pal, Mr. Wolf, bless his cotton socks. Johnny says, I've got a knot here, I think you might like. I'm thinking, oh, wonderful. I need a new knot for my favourite handle. Send it up, I said, send it up. So we did, here it is, and I put it in there, look. Johnny's first board job. Now we're going to get that into soak, but not in the official John Shea Super Soaker. Why not, John? Look at here, y'all. Ask you, why not? Check this out, guys. You see that? It's not going to go anywhere near. So, what I've done is I've got a wider cup, I've put some hot water in it, and even that only just about fits. And we're going to sit that bodger, or as I like to call it, knot of Satan, in there. And I call it knot of Satan. It will not lather, guys. It is an absolute beast. So I thought, I just can't get a lather out of it at all. Bless him, that Mr. Wolf. <laughs> no, <laughs> joking. I thought, what better, what better thing can you do if you can't get a load out of your knot? Right, that's not a euphemism. What better thing to do if you can't get a load out of your knot than to try and do it on camera? I'm gonna leave that soaking for a few minutes and then I'll come back and we'll crack on. Oh, and we're back. Oh, cheers, everybody. What an absolute day. Okay, we'll have a rundown of the stuff we're using. You've seen the thumbnail, we'll do a little bit of talking. Bit of housekeeping first. Phil Overton. Phil emailed me just about an hour or two ago, just before I started filming. Um, I won't go into details, private email, very touching. Um, thank you, Phil. Phil has been through an awful lot. Um, <clears throat> and he just wanted to send a message saying, John, I enjoy the videos. Thank you very much. So, Phil, get well soon. Keep fighting on, buddy. Um, glad you like the videos. Okay. Let's crack on. The, you've seen the brush that we're using, haven't you? Bertie Borgia. Um, the razors, look at this. So we've got the Envoy and we've got the Elite. Um, <coughs> very kindly launched into that Elite. Uh, this is the last shave I'll be doing with it um, because I want to uh, get it sent back to Mr. Wolf. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not good at multitasking. I'm a man. My wife can do 49 things at the same time. And know everything. Me, you know, walking and breathing at the same time. I can just about manage that. If I get my phone out and start looking, I'm in trouble. But anyway, come on. Persona Platinum Razor Blades. We'll get that out there. We'll one. We'll use two of these. We'll put that. I'll put the same blade in each one, guys. There you go. That's what you can see the Persona Platinum shining through. It's quite thick paper, that, actually. There you go. That's Persona Platinum. We'll get that in there. Oh, I've been running around, guys, like a headless chicken. And we'll get that one in there. I was looking for something kind of inventive, creative to do um, for a video for you. And then I thought, what about a comparison? I wanted to use that wonderful Rock Nail Razor again. So we've got that in there, we'll put it in next to the razor. We'll unlike it. So yeah, so hopefully you'll like this one. My videos on a Wednesday are always flyers. Um, I've got some stuff to tell you. There you go. Oh, get that on there. Get that on there. They, I picked these because they're both mild. Got well, medium, sorry. This is listed as medium, and that's listed as medium. Now I could, I could start going on, couldn't I, about it. Well, one's got a neutral blade exposure and the other one's got 0 0.25 forward blade exposure. But I mean, come on, get a life. How many of you have a shave and go like that? Oh, wonderful, wonderful, but do you know that 0.2% blade forward exposure really makes a... Anyway, so that's what we're going to be using now. I'm going to be barming up with Ted Baker. Can you guess the kind of mood I'm in? It's reflective of the day I've had. There you go. We're going to be splashing up with that. Okay. 
Now let's get to the other star of the show. Pinnacle Grooming very kindly sent me a load of samples. You get 10 of these little bad boys. Phil said he'd bought some. Um, he was very, very pleased with them. Uh, you get 10 of these little suckers for £10. Uh, and I've proved you can get four samples. You get four shaves out of the lot. Uh, so 40 shaves for a tenner. But I like to use them and send them on to people. So that's what I'm going to do. I've got 10 of them. That one there. Let's have a look. Oh, look. I'll have a look on a tablet, which for some strange reasons just decided to put its screensaver on. There you go. What's it called? This is called Wisdom Tallow Shaving Soap, a picture of Einstein on the front there. Did I tell you up until being about 11 years old? I actually thought I was called Einstein. Every time I asked my dad something, he'd say, no, Einstein, it isn't. So, huh. I used to say to my mum, you know, my dad thinks I'm really clever. Eh? Every time I go in the living room, he goes, oh, here he is, Einstein. Uh, it was when I was about 15, my mum sat there and told me, she went, John, it's not. Anyway, here we go. Let's have a look. Top notes. Benzoin pick peppercorn, clary sage. Because I sniffed them all and this was the one I liked instantly. And I thought, what is it I'm getting in there? And it was clary sage. I, I adore clary sage. Oh, anyway. Benzoin, pink pepper, salt, corn, clary sage, lavender, cardamom, juniper berry. Heart notes, neroli, orris, jasmine, angelica, tonka bean, and vanilla. Base notes, patchouli, sandalwood, cedarwood, myrrh, frankincense, apopanax, and vetiver. And if you're wondering what apopanax is, it's a, re a resin from Africa, and it's got a sweet, powdery, honey vibe to it so, I, that name Einstein justified now isn't it you're all sat there thinking pop and eggs pop and I'll check that out yeah anyway that's so what we've done we've put some of Einstein some of um, wisdom we've put it in the captain's the timeless shall we just stop and start again take a breath John We've put some of it in there. I'm not keen on this bowl, guys. I had two of them and I gave one away. Uh, I, I gifted one. Um, it's the timeless, it's very, very deep. Um, and it's a good bowl, but see those ridges on the bottom? They're, they're pretty well pronounced then. And I thought that that would lend itself to the beast that is Bertie the Bodger. Look, do you know? Just, oh my word, I've just lifted it out of the water. Went like that and it's bone dry. Oh, here we go. Come, this is going to be fun, this guy's look. This, this is going to be fun. <laughs> oh, right. If I abandon this shave, I want you all to absolutely pan Mr. Wolf in the comments. Well... Oh my actually poetry. Oh this this I, Right now I've brought in a parachute blade before today and I've even brought in a parachute razor. Never ever thought I'd have to bring in a parachute brush. Are we gonna let this beat us guys? We're not are we? We shall overcome uh, yeah, it's actually we're not we're not going to this has done this. I've tried this about four times in four different soaps, and this knot has done this on every one of them. Every single one of them. Uh, well, okay. <sighs> Give me a minute. Oh, here we are. Right, we need a proven entity, don't we? Look at that. So, what we got? We're going with this. This is 100% the brush, guys, not the salt. I know that because I've tried this on about four salts. I'm just doing it in here so you can see. Okay. Oh, my word. Ice cream, anyone? Right, come on. Got to get. I, I, it's got to the stage now that it's a fight between me and Bertie. I, he's not going to beat me. Okay.
Hey! Hey, look! Oh, my word. Are we getting somewhere? Oh. Oh, guys. Yes, come on. There you go. Woo! I'm thirsty after that. Right. Oh, we've got some news as well. Wonderful subscriber sent me something from Australia. It took three days. It took three days to get from Western Australia to London. Royal Mail lost it. The tracking went dead. At this end, I don't know about in Australia, but this end it went dead. It says stop now. There's no more tracking information on this item. Um, I was checking tracking information on another razor I've got coming from the United States, uh, and I, it gone live again. Your item is now ready for collection at Hyde Post Office. So um, I thought, well, they're not open until Thursday, so I'll go Thursday. And then right enough today, uh, a letter came. Your item is now ready for collection. So we're going to go and pick it up, and we're going to have a shave with it on Saturday. There you go. Mm. Oh, my word. Right, oh. What on earth is going on here? Okay. I'm not doing anything else with that now. I'm just going to shave with it. Okay, here we go. So we'll do the Rocknell this side and the Rex. Rex right, Rocknell left. You ready? Oh my word. We'll see how these blades. I think both razors are going to well. We know Rex is going to perform. And we know this razor is going to perform too. But I think when you do them side by side like this. It does give you an appreciation for some finer points that you may have missed. When you were just using that razor, well that, that feels fantastic. Okay, here we go. Not card here. Left hand John, left hand. Oh. Right, we're finally settled down for a shave, yeah? So that's it really. Um, there hasn't really been much going on. Work's been picking up. So I've been busier at work. Okay, now. I've got to be honest. At this stage, the rock mill feels more efficient. At this stage. Not for only the first part. Uh, yeah, I've got to be honest with you guys, it feels like it's taken off slightly more hair as well. Um, that's a surprise. I thought Rexy would have knocked spots off him. <laughs> Look at this now. Do you know? Do you know if I'd come in here? Another one. Mr. Wolf, I mean it's not, and I put it in. Look at my new brush. Aren't I good? You guarantee and I started shaving and you would not have been able to get a ladder with it. So I came in and I told you all, I was honest, didn't I? And now look at it. Lathering. Like a champ. Oh. Story of my life, guys. Story of my life. Yeah, I'm liking this rock now. I am. I am liking this rock now. Thank you to Mr. Wolf though for the knot and for the lawn of the razors. We did another deal as well. Um, thank you very much. Did you ever get that feeling when you think? Oh my word. Not that. So, do you ever get a feeling when you think? 
I forgot to say something. I know I have. Uh, once again, guys, that rock will feel smoother. Right, now, this is interesting. Because in terms of beard reduction, there's a significant difference on the Envoy side. The Envoy has taken, feels significantly less out. Well, look at this. Well, I'm glad it's proved me a liar. Because Johnny's got a bulger that works. Yay! Okay. Oh. Here we go. So please let me know what your shares of the day are. I do like reading them. I really do. Let me know if you've used anything that you've seen today, share. And let me know if you've had any issues. With the Borgia. I didn't know what to expect. But it would appear that my breaking in techniques have worked. No! Rex, thanks for telling me, Lee. Yeah. There you go. Oh my word. Like I said, I don't do well. I came out, I had to answer a couple of emails just before I came in. The phone went, somebody came to the door. I got a job to do in the kitchen because we've got the decorators coming in. Should, that feels quite rough actually, what's going on there? I should have been at the doctor's with my back and forgot to go. So they're gonna phone me soon to ask me to um, rebook it, you know? Oh, right. There you go. I've got to be absolute 100% honest, guys. This one feels like there's less hair under here and a bit more here. This one feels like there's nothing here and a little bit more under there. So they're even, I don't know how it works, they're evenly matched. Um, should we do leather mittens? Look. Look at this! Woo! Hey, lather mitten, say hey, that's that's a good lather, isn't it? That is a good lather. Oh yeah, there you go. Come on. We've just got the usual suspects, guys. We're just gonna tidy up. What we're gonna tidy up with? And a tidy up with a rotten, purely and simply because it's going soon. Um, so I'll use it while it's here. It's a beautiful razor. I feel privileged to use it. Thanks again, Mr. Wolf. No. That's our shave, guys. That's our shave. Everything did okay in the end, didn't it? Wow, I tell you what, though. That water is so slick. Oh. And we'll do the leaning. I gotta get a wriggle on because Angela and Samantha are coming home soon and they're gonna want a bite to eat and then we've gotta clear the kitchen ready for the decorators. Look at that. That's absolutely wonderful, guys. Look, there's nothing. There is absolutely nothing. And here we go, 47. I got that because it shares some of the scent profile with that soap. Um, like I said, don't blame the soap. It was. It, it was that brush because it did it to three other decent soaps in the week when I was trying to break it in. Mm. Yeah. Whoa. Mm. Oh my word. 
Woo, that's nice. Very nice. And a bit of Ted Baker. There you go. And that's it, guys. It's been a bit of a flyer. Do you know, I'll be honest with you. I wasn't even going to put one out. I came in, I was running around like a headless chicken. I thought it was later than it was. I just did a couple of jobs in the kitchen. I moved some stuff. I had to answer some emails. Did a few other little bits. Went and lay on the bed. Oh, ah. as I'm lying on the bed, picked my phone up and looked. And it was an hour earlier than I thought it was. So I thought, hey, here we go. We've got time for a share. Okay, remember guys, it's not how many times you get knocked down in life, is it? It's how many times you get back up. And believe me, getting back up is worth it. So like I said, you know what I mean? Uh, be the change you wish to see in the world. And then you've changed the world, haven't you? Uh, and another good one I heard the other day. Stand up, shoulders back. Adopt a stance of ready engagement with the world. You're valuable. You've got something to offer. So suck it to them, guys. The world needs men. And in this way of shaving, we're all men, aren't we? We are true men. Look after yourselves and each other. And I will see you on Saturday for a, at last it's here thank you australian subscriber i'm not gonna say his name until i get the raise and we get it all sorted and we're gonna do a good shave we're gonna have a good one on saturday guys and there'll be another wolf in the den bye